Hi everybody, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. So this video is regarding Staff Selection Commission Junior Engineer Examination Detailed Notification. So in this notification which was released on 26 July 2023, the number of vacancies that were given are 1324 vacancies. So 1324 vacancies are there in the detailed notification and at the same time the exam pattern has changed a bit. Okay, so let us see what are the updates related to this particular examination and what are the vacancies that are there in various departments in this particular video. Now, coming to the important dates. So let us see what are the important dates that are there here. So dates for submission of online applications. The online application window is opened on 26 July 2023 and it will close on 16-8-2023 at 11 p.m. So the last date is 16-8-2023 and at 11 p.m. it will be closed. Then application correction can be done online. So on 17-8-2023 to 18-8-2023 up to 11 p.m. So there is a correction window also that is provided for one day and here the tentative schedule of the computer based examination paper 1 is in October 2023. So previously the dates that were given are October 9th, 10th and 11th 2023. They might be subjected to change also. Okay, now let us see the important things that were given in this particular notification. So here there is an important quote that is given, government strives to have a workforce which reflects gender balance and women candidates are encouraged to apply. So this is an important point that was given in the notification and here this competitive examination is for the post of junior engineer, civil, mechanical and electrical for organizations, offices of the government of India and the posts are of group B non-gazetted category, non-ministerial in level 6 of the pay matrix of 7th Central Pay Commission. So this is what is the notification stating. Then coming to the departments in which the notification or the vacancies that are available are here Central Water Commission is there for civil and mechanical engineering students up to the age of 30 years the eligibility is BTEC or Diploma. Then Central Public Works Department, so CPWD, Civil and Electrical Engineering students up to 32 years and eligibility is Diploma here. Then Military Engineering Services for the departments of Civil, Mechanical, Electrical up to age 30. Eligibility is BTEC or Diploma plus 2 years of experience in the relevant field of engineering. Then Faraka Barrage Project, branches civil and mechanical students are eligible up to 30 years age limit and eligibility is diploma. Border Roads Organization, civil, mechanical, electrical students can apply up to 30 years of age limit was given and eligibility BTEC diploma plus 2 years experience. Then Department of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation. So, the department is only civil department students can apply up to 30 years of age limit and diploma students are eligible. Then the next one is Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways. Civil mechanical students are eligible up to 30 years of age and eligibility is diploma. Then National Technical Research Organization, civil mechanical electrical students can apply and age limit is up to 30 years and eligibility is diploma. So these are the eight departments in which the vacancies were available and those were notified. Now let us see the detailed vacancies list here. Border Roads Organization, only male candidates can apply. So you can see Border Roads Organization, only male candidates, Junior Engineer, Civil, Junior Engineer, Electrical and Mechanical. So here in this for Civil Engineering students, Total vacancies are 431 and mechanical and electrical 
55 vacancies are there. Then Central Public Works Department, Junior Engineer Civil. So here 421 vacancies are there. Central Public Works Department, Junior Engineer Electrical, 124 vacancies are there. Then Central Water Commission, Junior Engineer Civil, 188 posts. And Central Water Commission, Junior Engineer Mechanical, 23 posts were there. Now, coming to this post, Department of Water Resources, River Development and Ganga Rejuvenation and Brahmaputra Board is the board that is organizing this part. Junior Engineer Civil. So here the vacancies will be intimated in the due course. Now, the next one is Farakka Barrage Project. So Junior Engineer Civil category, 15 vacancies are there. These are the total vacancies which I am telling you now. So you can see as per the criteria and eligibility depending upon the reservation categories, you can see the other part in the detailed notification also. Then Farakka Barrage Project, Junior Engineer Mechanical, you can see total vacancies are 6. Military Engineering Services, Junior Engineer Civil, 29 vacancies are there. And Junior Engineer Electrical and Mechanical, 18 vacancies are there. Now, Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways, Andaman and Lakshwadeep Harbour Works, so Junior Engineer Civil, here 7 vacancies are there and Junior Engineer Mechanical, only one vacancy here. Then National Technical Research Organization, so in this particular organization, all the three department students are there, Civil, Electrical and Mechanical, so Civil vacancies are 4, Electrical vacancies are 1, and mechanical one vacancy is there. A total of 1324 vacancies are there in this particular notification. Now, let us see the scheme of examination or the pattern of the examination. Now, the first paper is objective type test and it is a computer based test here. So, CBT here. Then, in this, you will have three different group of subjects. First one general intelligence and reasoning which is nothing but the aptitude and reasoning part. So 50 questions will be there 50 marks. Then general awareness 50 questions 50 marks and part 3. So you can see part A, part B, part C is there. Depending upon the discipline in which you have studied your diploma or engineering. So you have to opt for that particular part and it will be there for 100 marks and 100 questions will be there. A total of 200 questions, 200 marks and 2 hours is the duration. So this is paper 1 scheme. And there is a very big update that the negative marking has been changed. I will tell you about that negative marking just after the next slide. Now paper 2, see previously this paper 2 is a descriptive type of examination. But now this paper 2 is also a computer based test and all the questions were objective type, multiple choice questions. So here you will have 100 questions and 300 marks. So each question carries 3 marks here and total duration is 2 hours here. And again this is related to the technical subjects only. You have to opt for the relevant part depending upon the branch in which you have studied your diploma or engineering. So this is paper 2 which is a changed portion or this is the thing that was updated previously this is a descriptive type examination but now this is also a computer based test and objective type questions are there here. Now this is the part which I have told earlier regarding the negative mark change. So here questions in both the papers will be objective multiple choice type and questions will be set in Hindi and English in parts 1 two and three of paper one and paper two. So in all the parts, question will, questions will be in Hindi as well as in English. And negative marking will be equal to one third of the marks allotted. So previously in paper one, one fourth negative marking used to be there. But now it has changed to one third. Okay. So this is there in both paper 1 and 2 the negative marking one third. So candidates are therefore advised to keep this in mind while answering the questions. The next important thing is candidates are allowed to bring their own slide rules, calculator, logarithm table and steam table 
for paper 2 only so paper 2 computer based test objective type questions only will be there but here you are allowed to carry a calculator that means the questions will be little higher side and by using calculator only you will be able to solve those questions but in paper 1 you shouldn't use a calculator so these are not allowed in paper 1 so this is what is about the notification part now let us see the subject wise weightage of the various parts that is the general studies or general awareness part see previously we have taken some previous year papers and based on that in the general science general studies so here you can see the social studies part social studies part so history polity geography and economics so you can see the weightage so around 17 to 20 marks will come out of 50 marks in this particular part then general knowledge and current affairs this will constitute to highest percentage that is around 26 percentage in the 50 marks that are there then physics chemistry and biology this belongs to the science part around 12 to 15 marks will be there then environmental studies will also be there so this will have little lower weightage that is around 2 to 4 marks or 5 marks might come in this particular part so this is the subject wise weightage in paper 1 general studies now coming to the subject wise weightage in the technical subjects for civil engineering students you can see there will be various subjects like building materials and concrete technology so this has weightage of 23 to 24 marks so this is for a total of 100 marks we have shown the weightage and the number of questions will be again 100 in paper 1 related to technical part then estimating costing and valuation 7 to 8 surveying 9 to 10 soil mechanics 4 to 5 hydraulics that means the fluid mechanics part 10 to 11 irrigation engineering including hydrology 3 to 4 marks transportation engineering 5 to 6 marks then environmental engineering 4 to 5 theory of structures 11 to 12 rcc design 12 to 13 and steel design 9 to 10 so this is the subject wise weightage of paper 1 technical part of civil so this is part a civil and structural part now let us see the SSCJ subject wise weightage for mechanical engineering so this is part b or part c that is there so here production engineering 8 to 9 marks thermodynamics 10 to 11 marks ic engines 9 to 10 then power plant engineering 11 to 12 strength of materials 10 to 11 and theory of machines 7 to 8 fluid mechanics this has got the highest weightage that is 29 to 30 marks machine design 5 to 6 rac 6 to 7 engineering mechanics 3 to 4 and sometimes some subjects might be asked out of the syllabus also so previously in one of the question paper heat and mass transfer related questions were also asked so there will there will be 2 to 3 marks so this is the fundamental part of heat and mass transfer questions might have been asked in that particular paper then coming to the electrical engineering part so here you have electrical circuits and magnetic circuits this has the highest weightage of 31 to 32 questions and 31 to 32 marks here then electrical machines 24 to 25 measurement and instrumentation 13 to 14 power systems 12 to 13 marks utilization 10 to 11 marks and basic electronics so which is considered as out of syllabus topic 7 to 8 marks were asked so this is the subject wise weightage in paper 1 for various technical subjects as well as the general studies part now coming to ace online app so you can download ace online app and start your 7 day free trial so here 7 day free trial you can start from today by scanning the qr code or you can download the app from apple store or google play and windows store also so seven day free trial is available you can go through the lectures taught by the expert faculty members and here you have sscje self paced program for civil electrical as well as mechanical engineering students general studies 
as well as technical part. So the subscriptions are available for 3 months, 6 months and 12 months and courses start from rupees 5000. And here the features of the course are free online test series is there, doubt clearing sessions and ask an expert option is also there here and a total of 500 plus hours of content will be there here. Now you can see the content will be there for 500 plus hours. All are taught by experienced faculty members. Free online test series will be available and there is 24 by 7 chat support and one to one mentorship is also there. Then you will have live doubt clearing sessions in the due course of time. Then how to purchase the course in ACE online. So once you download the app, then you can go and see the courses tab. There you have SSE JE and in the SSE JE you have SSE JE Civil Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Electrical Engineering part and SSE JE GS. So this is also separately available. So all these are available in different tabs. So whichever branch you wanted to choose, you can choose that branch and then you can also go for adding the general studies part here. Then here you can go in the step 2, you can see the subscription self-based program. So you can click on 1 month subscription, 3 months, 6 months or 12 months depending upon the subscription you are looking for. Then you can pick the duration here and go for purchasing the app. So this is how you will have the purchase options in the ACE online app. Then coming to RRB JE and SSE JE books. So these books are available in ACE engineering publications website, Amazon as well as in Flipkart. So you can go for purchasing these books. These are previous year question books that are available for general studies part and as well as technical subjects. These books are available. Then Coming to the ACE online test series, so SSE JE 2023 online test series for civil, electrical and mechanical engineering students, this test series is available and the total number of tests are 20, subject wise tests are 16 and full length mock tests are 4. Okay, now the students who wanted to purchase ACE online SSE JE courses, technical or general studies. So there is an offer that is being run till 31st July 2023 and the coupon code that you have to use is SSC30. So this is the coupon code which you have to use and this offer is valid only up to 31st July 2023. So once you use the coupon, you will get 30% off on the course. Okay. Now, thank you. All the very best.